Republican lawmakers are promising to fight back after Monday's FBI raid on Mar-a-Lago. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy is calling on his colleagues to be vocal in their condemnation of the unprecedented move. In a Facebook post, McCarthy wrote, if you are an elected Republican and you're staying quiet while Democrats in Washington are abusing their power, you are the very reason they think they can get away with it. Now is the time to speak up and be loud. Of course, everyone's talking a big game, but it remains to be seen whether they'll actually do anything about it. Joining me now, CEO of American Majority, Ned Ryan, man who knows what's up. Ned, what time is it for the GOP? Because it feels like it's go time here. Yeah, this is absolutely go time, and, and it's, it's nice to see McCarthy actually say something, unlike Mitch McConnell and the rest of the Senate leadership, uh, who finally said something late in the day, but I think they were shamed into saying something. Uh, it, it's good to actually say something, but Buck, if and when, and I think it's going to be when, and obviously pretty definitively, Republicans take the House back, and I hope the Senate as well, you actually have to do something meaningful, right? Uh, strongly worded letters strongly worded tweet. They don't cut it anymore. And the only way that I know they'll be serious is if someone, when we're in the majority, proposes we are going to actually go defund the FBI. We're going to reimagine the DOJ. We're going to actually have real oversight uh, in which we demand real accountability and transparency. But until people actually start about defunding these institutions, and quite frankly, Buck, I am now of the opinion because nobody actually had any consequences for pushing the Russian collusion conspiracy theory, because nobody went to jail, I think they feel empowered. We have to actually start talking about people need to actually serve jail time if they're going to abuse power like this. And until we get to that point, I think you're gonna see more of this. In terms of the GOP response so far, do you think it is moving in the right direction? Because certainly in the first few hours I saw some uh, very prominent GOP figures with the let's wait, let's see. But in the last 24 hours, there's been a lot more, okay, this is actually some Praetorian Guard nonsense going on here. Yeah, no, finally. I mean, that's one, that's one of the exact terms I used Monday night in response to this raid. The, the, the DOJ and the FBI are the Praetorian Guard of the administrative state. And we need to disabuse ourselves of the notion that somehow they care about the rule of law. And it, it, it's good that we're starting to see more pushback from Republicans. But, you know, when I see Tim Scott go on CBS morning show and say, oh, we're just going to have to sit and wait. Are you kidding me? We now have pretty much six years of empirical evidence in which these institutions actually used a fake dossier to secure four FISA warrants to spy on the sitting president of the United States. And you're telling me we should sit and wait? At what point do these people need to wake up? Are they going to wake up and understand you're not dealing with, with a DOJ or an FBI that's interested in rule of law, equal application of the law. They're interested in actually weaponizing against political opposition. And they really do view themselves as this Praetorian Guard of the administrative state. Until our, the, the thinking of Republican D.C. gets to that point, I think you're going to see more mealy mouth responses by the Tim Scott and, and, and Senate leadership. And it, it, I, I actually found it wildly repulsive, Buck that a former Republican president had his home raided by the FBI. And some of them couldn't even bother to actually say something publicly about it for most of yesterday. Repulsive. And I, I, quite frankly, I, I've had enough of these people. I, I truly think not only are they gutless, I'm starting to view them, quite frankly, as the enemy.